What's going on, YouTube? Hold on just a second. Let me fix this. Yeah, there we go. What's going on, YouTube? It's uh, Headbody here, and we have some Falcons news to discuss. Yesterday, a certain Ice Cube got a large sum of money, a uh, five-year extension to his already rookie uh, contract. A uh, hundred million dollars, uh, I think 59 of it guaranteed, 59 million guaranteed, or 53, or however million guaranteed. A lot of money, okay? He's in the hundred million dollar club, all right? And there have been a lot of people, this well, stupid idiot nuts like e on ESPN, like Jamel Hill, who's, a, who's an idiot, and Skip Bayless, who's the king of idiots, Constantly saying that Matt Ryan doesn't deserve this money because he has, he's only got one playoff win and blah 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 and all this other all this other crap. Now, fifty nine million that's that's a lot of money. Okay, he's worth he's worth a hundred million, but fifty nine million guarantee that's just a that's just a lot of money. All right, but what I mean he's what I'm trying to say is that this contract is worth it. The guy has proven that he he's a clutch clutch player. All right. Now a lot of people are saying uh, last year when they were playing the NFC Championship against the um, against the Giants, not the Giants, sorry, the 49ers, Uh, You know they were down, they were up seventeen to nothing, and then they blew the lead. But I mean, you got to realize it's not Matt Ryan's fault. It was the defense. The defense didn't get adjusted to Colin Kaepernick's uh, spread option. You know, so you can't fault Matt Ryan. I mean, yeah, he did turn the ball over twice. The interception and that fumble. That kind of cost them, but you know, it's still, it's the defense's job to prevent the offense from scoring, so you can't really put all the blame on Matt Ryan. And then they try to come back by saying that, you know, Matt Ryan had two chances in the end zone. Uh, the fourth, third and four and fourth and four to put them put them ahead. At the very last, uh, in the waning minutes of the game. But people don't realize that on the second down, he got knocked pretty hard to the point where his shoulder, I mean, he was, he was clutching his, he was clutching his throwing arm. He, uh, it wasn't his throwing arm, it was his opposite arm. No, sorry, it was his throwing arm. He was clutching his throwing arm. You could tell at the end of the game, when they had the ball back, he could barely throw the ball for like 25 yards. So even if they had gone to the Super Bowl, it wouldn't have made any difference. He wouldn't have been able to throw it because he had to have surgery. So they wouldn't have to put in the the uh, backup. I forget his name. Uh, I don't. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, that that doesn't matter. It's not. It's not the point. The past is the past. He's gotten this contract. And what other people try to say is that he he doesn't have the ring. That's why he doesn't deserve all this money. Well, what people seem to forget is that all the teams, all these quarterbacks that have previously won Super Bowls, look at their defenses. Joe Flacco and the Ravens. Huh? Ravens, you got Terrell Suggs, Ed Reed. Uh, oh, who's the guy? The murderer? What's his name? I forgot. I'm, I'm blanking. Oh, goodness. What's his name? He just retired. I'm blanking. Uh, Ray Lewis. There it is. The murderer. Yeah. He, well, he did murder someone. Surprising how we're still, you know, giving him props for that. Ray Lewis in that defense. Okay. All right. Let's look at the past Super Bowl winner. The, the, the Super Bowl winner before. The New York Giants. Okay. Look at that. Their their defense has always been, you know, just awesome and ridiculous. They've just been that type of defense. That was Strahan that year. They've just been that defense where they just put, put that ridiculous amount of pressure on you. They don't let you get a yard. The year before then, it was the uh, it was the um, it was the Packers. Now all these defend the Packers, and then the Saints, and then the the Steelers, and then the Giants again. I mean, those aren't all in chronological order, but you get my drift. That all these teams have real had really good defenses at that time. The Saints and the and the Packers, their defenses were very similar to Atlanta in that they created a lot of turnover opportunities. They capitalized on all these turnovers. Actually, I mean. They didn't capitalize on, all, on, I mean, they did capitalize on the turnovers, but they created a lot of turnovers. Their turnover ratio was, I remember the Saints, when they went to the Super Bowl, their turn, they were number one, I think, number one, or they were at least top three in the league in turnover ratio. So they caused, they were very much similar to what the Falcons were this year. It's just that they couldn't get it done. But 
the Fal uh, the Saints that year, I think it was 2008 or what, whatever, anyway, that year, they had, I mean, they would just turn the ball over crazy. That defense would intercept passes and force fumbles. So you can't really put the blame all on, you know, Matt Ryan. Yeah, he's got to make plays. I mean, Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers and, you know, even the Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger, they all, they all had to make plays. Ben Roethlisberger with the catch against the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, they had to make plays, but you got to think about it, that the fact that this is a team game. Quarterbacks obviously are always going to get all the pressure, but they, you know, that's the money that they need because they're the ones who have to will the team to, to win the game. I mean, they have to command the offense to to score. I mean, I I fully agree with this with this money extension. You know, he deserves it. He's the player who's he's he keeps getting better. And you got to think this year, this is the year that they're going they're at least going to the Super Bowl. So he's going to make a statement for that contract. He's going to show, he's going to shut some people up. But I mean, even if they don't win the Super Bowl, even if they just get there, that'll shut a lot of people up because you got to think about it. And I keep reiterating this. They got, you got an offensive machinery. This could be the next greatest show on the turf. They could easily score 30 points. Easily. When you have the likes of Steven Jackson, who's actually a, a good running back. I mean, I know by previous videos I've said that he's kind of meh, and you know hopefully he can, he's healthy enough to, or he he's got the energy to do it. But I, I saw some videos of him. I've seen some pictures. That guy looks, <laughs> I mean Jack doesn't even describe this person. He looks ridiculously huge. Turner was good, but Turner's, I mean he, all he did was have just a fat ass. You know, it's, 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 I mean he's got tree trunks of legs, but. Doesn't really do much. You, after a while, those that those fat molecules they can't do much. They can't penetrate much of the uh, of the defense anymore. But you got Stephen Jackson. You got Tony, who's plays like he's eighteen. You got Julio and Roddy. Not to mention here. I mean, people seem to forget how good Harry Douglas is. I mean, he's a good slot receiver. You got so many weapons. It's and you got the Jizz Factory. I mean, there's just so many people. That, I mean, it's impossible for this team not to win at least 14 games. They've got to win at least 13. I mean, it's got to be obviously in double digits. This division is going to be pretty tough. But Matt Ryan, I, think, I mean, the guy deserves it. The guy clearly has proven that he is capable of getting to that next. He's already gotten to the next level. The next that he needs to get up to that. Just he's right here. He just needs a one extra step. And he's right on that Super Bowl. I mean, they, they had a taste of how close they were. And once they're going to use that as fuel for this season because I don't see any team that's going to stop them, to be to be frank. I mean, once they get to uh, in the regular season. In the postseason, that's a different story. I mean, you got Seattle and you got San Francisco. Those are two very, very stacked teams. And th that will be a video for, you know, that time in the future. But as of right now, Matt Ryan, you earn it, man. You earned it. You've provided a lot of drama. You've, you've proven that you're, you're clutch. Okay. Don't, I mean, one in four, people seem to forget that the defense is the last two years ago. Remember, Mike Smith, this is a process. It's a building, building process. They got it. Finally, this team is starting to gel. We finally have the pieces. Trufant, Witherspoon. This team is coming together. You guys watch and see. Matt Ryan, do what you do. Throw those TDs. You have you don't throw many picks, barely any at all. I mean, last year you threw, I don't know, maybe 9 or 10 compared to your touchdown rate. And you threw for 400 yards or 399 against San Francisco when Joe Flacco couldn't even do that either. So don't, don't worry about it, man. You got this. You're worth the money, all right? But we'll, uh, we'll discuss more. Falcons videos. I'm gonna hope. Thank God, preseason's about to start. Two more weeks, and we'll do some uh, analysis on that. But you guys take care.